Welcome in the new episode. Today we'll start with a video shared by the authors of Signs and Signals. This time, on the occasion of Halloween, they decided to go to the old church, about which local legends say that it's haunted. Surprisingly, despite their nocturnal visit, they didn't encounter anything strange, that is, until they tried something different. Come on! I mean, do something! Come on, do something! You, you, know, you know you wanna do something? Come on! We here, we waiting! You, you got a whole crowd watching you, bro. Come on, do something. Show yourself. Do something. That sounded like it was from back there, too. Oh, we got that. If it was back there, we definitely got it. Come on. Come on, yeah, do something else. What's up? Shortly after, while the authors of the video were trying to figure out what that even was in the first place, something else happened. From somewhere else in here, it wasn't like in the hall. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know, that's what I'm saying. It's just going to water over there. That's what you don't care. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, what the hell was that? David! It looked like whatever was lurking in that place was actually following the ghost hunters. The camera microphone even recorded distinct footsteps spreading in the background behind them, and whatever it was had no intentions of stopping at all. As they said, they didn't pay any attention to it while recording, but while reviewing the footage during editing, they noticed a mysterious figure sitting in one of the church benches. And as they claim, they were in that place alone. What's more, it looked like it was getting more and more dangerous. It feels like I have like no energy to even do anything here. It's like I just want to keep sitting down. Actually, I just want to get out of here. I feel like we have enough footage. What, what, what? You didn't hear that, man? What'd you hear? What'd you hear? You didn't hear that whisper, dude? Right in my ear, dude. I didn't hear it. It was just like... I heard a, I heard a thump that over there. Yeah, what the hell is that? Dude, get... Get stuff. Get your light. What? Get your light. Get your light. Get your light. When they were about to finish the exploration, one of them heard a distinct whisper in his ear and then the chairs next to them moved completely by themselves. After this, they decided that they had enough and immediately ran away. As the next one, we'll take a look at the video coming from the Mysterio JL channel. This is a Mexican duo with a years of experience in search for paranormal phenomena. This time, as always, they went on a nighttime adventure to one of the potentially haunted locations. Unfortunately, we don't know exactly where it was, but one thing is certain. They were not in that place alone. Se vio algo acá este lado, güey. Acá, acá colombiano pasó algo ahí. From the floor above, the thing was watched by a small figure, most likely a child. It only appears for a split second, then hides behind the wall, as if playing hide and seek. Interestingly, whatever it was decided to make its presence known in a slightly different way. Clearly captured by the microphone, the baby's cries gave the crew a real creeps. Shortly after, the man decided to test the ghost reaction to a specific sound by using a special instrument. <gasps> Get 
Whatever inhabits this place appeared once again running across the hallway. The figure was unnaturally dark and its footsteps were too quiet to belong to a human. They both ran to that place as quick as possible but found nothing unusual. It was as if the child had simply vanished into thin air. The Inquieto TV team is a group of friends from Italy who, like the previous two teams, visit haunted places. This time the group went to an abandoned building which years ago served as a kindergarten. From the very beginning they were accompanied by strange noises, but they were so frequent that everyone thought it was just the wind echoing of empty walls of the building. Their entire adventure, while incredibly atmospheric, didn't yield much documented evidence of paranormal, that is, until they found themselves in one particular room. Sei tronchi grandi. Tipo in cerchio. Come se qualcuno stesse facendo un rituale. Ok, questo è stato. Non penso sia. Penso sia normale con tutte queste macerie. Credo. As they all stepped inside, something landed with huge impact on the floor nearby, but that's not what's the most interesting. As one of them tried to find the source of the noise, he accidentally recorded something very strange. In the video, a small shadow can be seen standing right next to the entrance to another room. As often happens in these cases, no one present at that time paid any attention to it and whatever it was, they only noticed it while they were editing the footage. I think it's normal with all these mysteries, I think. Staying still on the shadows theme, let's check out a short video from Reddit, where user the Clownin shared a certain video that one time he got from a family member. This is a footage from a camera installed in a new apartment right after moving in. The user sharing this clip doesn't explain much, but I think we all know exactly what it's about. During over 10 hour recording session, at one point something like a shadow can be seen in the corner of the room, only to disappear after a short moment. The video has not been edited in any way because it's played directly from the camera's memory. In the end, it's not known if it was just coincidence or a shadow of something behind the window, but perhaps in some time we'll see more videos from this place and then we'll be sure that it was something more. Brandy is a single mother living with her child in Delaware. One evening after returning home from shopping and dinner, something really strange happened. So, me and my kid just got back from eating dinner and... My bedroom light is on, which is strange because I don't remember leaving it on. Are you sure? Um, yeah, I'm sure I didn't leave it on. Come on. Listen, I'm going to walk inside real fast. I want you to wait out here for me. I'll stay right by the door. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I want you. Oh, my God. Somebody broke a door. Is that a shadow? Yeah. I don't know. Mom, go. Oh. Jaden, yeah, it is. Go, go next door. Go next door and get your icy, okay? okay. If you hear me scream, y'all hear me scream, call 911. Okay. Okay? After driving up to the house, the woman noticed that the light in one of the rooms was still on, which of course wouldn't be so strange if it weren't for the fact that at some point a mysterious shadow can be seen across the curtains. Although the video stops because the woman preferred to be ready for a confrontation, she adds that after a careful check it turned out that there was no one in the house at that moment. 
And this was by no means the only strange occurrence connected with this one particular room in their house. No, 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 Nothing back there, right? I told you. There's never. Oh my god! 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 It seems like it's too early to make any assumptions, but it seems like her profile will be worth following. Perhaps over time we will get a series of videos that will slowly escalate. Think of this last video rather as a curiosity. The video, which comes from an unknown source, shows a man walking through hospital corridors at night and experiencing something very strange. Estoy solo aquí. Este es el área de quirófano. Escucho ya música de un celular. As we all know, a lot of people die in hospitals, probably that's why quite often we have to deal with paranormal videos from such places. But can this video be authentic? You can decide by yourselves. Thank you very much for your time. Please like and comment so we can get some nice food for the algorithm. That really helps me a lot. Thank you in advance. And now it's time to say goodbye. See you in the next one. Bye.